Hello everyone. So today I'm doing a new series, it's called Jacob Remembers. The point of this series is to play like the old games, remember the classics. So the first game we're starting off with, a game pretty much everyone who played it loved, Chrome Hounds. Now I'm just going to be showing off like some video games, and obviously I don't have a capture card so I can't really play this game as it, I can't show this game as well as you can play it. But basically you have, it's a mech building game, similar to that of Mech Warrior, but different. Because in this game, this game not only started it all, but it also, it also had a unique system for doing it. And it wasn't, you didn't have to play it online, which is the reason I'm playing this right now, live screened. You can basically, you can build your chassis and you can, each mech has different class things, you can build your mech to be a giant tank and you can build your mech to be a sniper or you can build your mech to be your mech to be a uh, be like a scout that runs in and identifies everyone for like the your other mechs to destroy and you can play in like squads and you also have like commanders you can give out orders and whatever although no one's really gonna follow them so I'll just build a tank build here so you have different parts such as cockpits here and you can choose whichever one is useful for you. Of course, with the tank, I'm going to choose the heavy cockpit. And you can choose different chassis. So here I have a tank chassis. And you can also set to have different levels of uh, devices with which to, to destroy enemies to make your cockpit more efficient at shooting and whatever. And you have generators, which produce power at the cost of fuel. But fuel is rarely an issue in this game, I've noticed. So here are the weapons. The main, the fun, the, make the, the, game, the thing that makes this game fun. So now in every other game, especially mech games, you usually buy a mech that's got pre-ordered like slots for your weapons, and you can just sort of change around what's in there. Well, with this game, you build your mech from the ground up. That's what makes it unique. For example, here I can, and there's no like limit to what kind of thing you can build. For example, if you said, I want to have, like, missile launchers and howitzers on the same vehicle. You can literally do that. And that's what makes this game sort of fun. So, for example, here I'm putting on, like, missile launchers. And I've had to remove the music, but the music is kind of nice. And here I can put on howitzers. There's no limit to what you can really do in this game. For example, you can... You can build like a scout commander. I've tried to do it before. It's kind of, kind of hard, but you can do it. Um, and you can, you can build like a commander that's a howitzer as well. So you can basically just bomb people from afar. Of course, the problem is I'm a bit overloaded. However, that's okay because I can. Oh no, actually, I'm not overloaded. Oh, because it shows weight, right? I haven't played this game in a long time. You can tell. And so there's also a support parts, which. While they aren't required for your vehicle, they do support it. So for example, you can add on armor if you want more defense, add on fuel tanks if you're like a scout, I suppose. You can add on a radiator if you're if you need more cooling or whatever. Not that I ever need had found use for it. You can add on hovercraft if you want to be able to jump, basically. You have radar jammers, landmine detectors. Um, night vision sensors, which do come in both a regular night vision and thermal form. You have NA makers, which are basically radar generators. You you only use them if you're a commander, basically. In fact, they're required in the story. And uh, tank cannons, heavy heavy arms are basically like big guns. Whereas you have the small hexagonal shaped ones. You have these. These are your large superstructures that basically you can just obliterate most enemies, but you only find them on really heavy builds. But I'm not going to be going for one of those. I'm going for, like, something more... something smaller and more reasonable. So I'm going to have a night vision generator, because it's pretty useful to have, in addition to armor, to protect it from getting shot off. What I could also do is I could have this armor... And some people have actually figured out how to put this on the on the uh, on the front of your cockpit 
so you can protect yourself because that's where most people target you. Okay, so now that I've basically reached my limit, I can now set up the weapons. Now you can set weapons to f different weapons to fire at the same time, but it's usually useful to just set all your guns of the same type. So I'm going to set all my rocket launchers to fire off in their own group, and then I'm going to have all my howitzers fire off in their own group. Now howitzers take a bit more skill than other weapons do, but they are... I do have a cold, I'm sorry for that. But they do have a... Uh, they do have much higher damage. In fact, if you are useful with howitzers, you can kill most enemies in like two or three rounds. Two, three shots. All right. And now we're done building the mech. We can return to the garage. And this is something I liked. You have a test trial trial run. You could basically just go fight off the average enemies. We'll do that first, just to make sure this thing works. It takes a bit a bit to load, but it's when you see the size of this map, you will you won't you won't wonder why. Now if I can remember how to Okay. Sorry, I'm sort I'm sort of getting back into this game. That's the And there's your support. You can also give out chat commands, which are sort of useful. You can pause the game or whatever. This is the night vision, so it looks a bit weird for you guys, but it works like standard night vision. In fact, thermal vision works the same way, except it's just different color. And you have weapon cameras, so you can, you can aim more precisely this way. And uh, ballistic weapons that aren't howitzers will often have like a rifle scope or something like that. Now we're fighting against the sort of campaign enemies that aren't actual hounds. Fighting against other actual mechs is kind of hard. Especially if you're fighting against more than one you want. Usually you want, you want friends. Like this is a game where even the AI make you want to have friends. But against the average enemy you can sort of obliterate them easily. Like I'm sort of sucking right now, because I'm not actually good at this game. But these guys die within like one or two hits, especially from howitzers. As shown there by that poor, poor hovercraft. And this is another useful thing. And this is why I chose howitzers. See, they these things have drop off. Like real weapons do. And missiles, they run out of fuel. But you see there, I can, if I'm good, I can get them to hit enemies behind cover. So you don't have to directly engage someone. Now I never played on the multiplayer, because I was a bit late to the party. By the time I realized this game had like a super powerful ultimate multiplayer, uh, the multiplayer servers were already down, so. But if you got if you got there in time, then you know what I'm talking about and how fun this game is. <sighs> and also, this game has realistic recoil. So howitzers have tons of recoil. Assault rifles have small amounts of recoil, but they don't really do much. Because this game has, like, recoil suppressors or something. And also, another thing is you can... You can actually tell how much health the weapons have. There you go. I was looking for that button. Yeah, you can basically use this tactical overlay button. If you press Y on your Xbox controller, which is like the button at the top. Okay, we finished the mission, because... Also, if you... I think if you hold back, you actually can self-destruct yourself in the uh, tr trial run. But so, yeah, this is just a mech I built, as you can see. And I built this all on screen, so now you know. However, I am going to possibly do a uh, workshop build series for this game because well I wouldn't say workshop build but like build you know what I built in this game sort of series 
workshop creation so off or whatever, something like that. So for example, I could load assembly data, load, obviously select my hard drive. And I have several here. In fact, this is a joke based upon another game uh, I built here, another, another series, in fact, movie series. Now it doesn't look like anything like anything you'd ever know because it's not supposed to, but it works very similarly to a mech from a game from a movie series. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have the ability to transform, but if you recognize the abilities of this thing, you will you will get what it is. It's uh, it's Mogura from Godzilla. Now, I built this thing on a spare time, but it. It has like a hover ability, which mimics the max ability to hover. It has like mini guns, which are like fun, but they're kind of wasteful. But they are fun. And rockets, which are... Yes, I love rockets. And of course, a ramming spike, because who doesn't have one of those? Correct. You know what? I got a better idea. And also, as you can see, I can sort of just soak up all these bullets. Like, I'm not immortal or anything, I'm just... In fact, this isn't even, like, the strongest chassis. But these guys are so weak... That I can sort of just fight them. Even though these guys are actually the most powerful ones. Yeah, as you can see, I can just sort of fight them. Even though I've sort of lost some of my machinery. And you can also... As you can see, you can have multiple uh, support equipments. You can have thermal camera. Your night vision. Your mine layer. And your radar jammer. And as you can see, artillery actually changes the way you, um, it sort of affects your recoil. So yeah, I'm kind of not unequipped for this situation. Because these guys have me at long range, therefore they're more effective. But once I actually close range, I can really start to destroy them. And that's the thing this game did well. Class system. It sort of said, okay, you know, each person has their own distinct playstyle. So if you wanna if you wanna be like a crazy meaty guy, then you can go be a scout and just build like a really fast but weak vehicle. There we go. Do like a victory hover. Alright, victory jump, I think is the term. But so yeah, you can build like all sorts of stupid stuff. Hopefully it loads back in. Oh, the game crashes sometimes, by the way, because I have a broken copy. Hold on, I'll fix this. Real shortly. It happens a lot with, uh... Fortunately, it means I have to turn all the thing back on. But yes, it does. That's because I have a broken disc, so don't don't mind this. I just gotta log back in, which takes forever on my Xbox, because my Xbox is so. Yeah, lesson word of warning, kids: buy games that actually you know work. There we go. But see, so yeah, it sort of shows off how it works. But so now I'm going to try and build something. And I've built this before, but so I know it works. But I'm going to try and show you what it does. Also, don't mind the campaign thing going on in the background. The glorious uh, trailer.
I'll just let you guys watch this. This is kind of awesome. I don't know if you can really see it, but it's so awesome. It just sort of shows off what you can do. This is obviously the scout there that's shooting all the bullets. But they die really quick. And this is really cool, like... I don't think this happens in the actual game, but yeah, you can sort of bust through the way through buildings and just kill people from sneak attacks. Which is usually soldiers, but sometimes also scouts that are equipped with melee weapons. Anyways, ended the cutscene there early. Of course the music is still in the beginning. The menu. Also, I have 98% uh, or 90% completion, because it's actually kind of hard, the campaign. Okay, now we're in. And that's the thing, like, you can load stuff back in really quick. Alright, so I'm going to beat the last mission, right? The final level, the hardest level, by Situation far. In the I'm going to skip the cutscene, because i got to leave some story for for you guys. Alright, now I'm going to build my stupid mega, mega bot. Alright, prepare for mega bot to be built. Megatron. Watch and learn. I built this sort of... This was what I meant by building the armor in front of your cockpits. Now it looks stupid at first, and maybe it is, but it works. Now I don't really remember... Oh, wait. Now I remember. Okay, so you sort of have to build with this piece, which is, I think you have to rotate it. There we go. We're going to start to find the, ro the right joint. There we go, that's good enough. Now what this joint does is it lets us... Do something like this. And now you can obviously see what's what's going on here. Now I can go down here, get some armor, and I can pretty much block any form of attack. This is what we call cheating, if you are anyone affiliated with Chrome House. But yes, I am familiar with it. In fact, I think the developers were too. This is sort of what we call howitzer murdering, because howitzers is like the way I beat this game. Now we will spend a lot of our time trying to walk there, because this thing is rather slow. Alright, and just as an emergency, I think we need like some form of like backup weapon, because we're probably going to get slaughtered. And so I'm going to get these sniper cannons, which are basically like these howitzers or whatever. Which one weighs less? Oh, they both weigh the, the same. Alright, we'll get one sniper cannon. We really only need one. The reason we're having that is because I, I know I can hit with it. So, Because howitzers, as I said, are kind of skill-based. So you'll probably die several times trying to use one. And I'm probably going to get slaughtered. Like, when I say slaughtered, I mean, like, absolutely murdered. And the reason I have the armor on the front is because there's a sniper we're going to have to kill. Because the sniper will basically, like, murder you. Alright, let's do this thing.
Now, I won't skip the in-game cutscenes. So basically, this is we have to fight two uh, hounds, two two other mechs, and the AI are actually amazing in this game to me. But then again, I'm a noob at this. This mission is a direct order from Rafsakhan. Very. I lied. And look, we're in. Now this guy is really slow. These legs are. These legs are really slow. And as you can see, like we're gonna spend like an age getting to the point where we can attack these guys. Cause my loadout is like howitzers. Okay, here's a story cutscene. Mass Effect reference. Yeah, the thing is, I'm a bit better equipped. Even against these tanks, which is kind of a waste of my ammo, my ability to murder, but I can still kill them. I could probably destroy them all in a moment. In fact, I managed one time. If you can hit all four howitzers on the first guy, then you will do. You will. You will win. If you can kill the first guy with howitzers only, you can probably kill the second guy with howitzers only. Because the second guy is, you have to sort of fight them at their ideal ranges, which is to say long range, because both of them are sort of medium range. Because the other guy, the second guy, will just try to shotgun you from long range, which he'll still hurt you like crap, but it won't be as bad as what would happen. If you did have, like, armor. Also, tanks are trying to shoot at me. That just shows you how futile, futile their life is. Die. Your guns are inferior. But don't worry, these... They, my, my legs are not the slowest legs in the game. But they don't carry the most load either. Which is bad for me because it means, you know, I'm fighting a tank build here, so. Get wrecked. See that guy there? He's not a fun guy to fight, and that's why. You sort of gotta just sort of fight him. Oh, but I got hit off. Oh, he hit me in the cockpit. Ah, oh, well. I think I got him pretty good, though. That's the thing, though. You sort of... Although, I'm getting hit from the second guy who's going to slaughter me. Oh, but I got him pretty well. Oh, yeah, he's dead. All right, where's the second guy? He's gonna get slaughtered. Fall before the might that is Krillin, my friend. Aw, oh, you see that lag? It's a sign I got him good there. Better be prepared to get slaughtered. Maybe I still got it in me. Ooh, I think I, I wrecked him that one. Bring it on. I may be an old man. Oh, he, he's dead, just about. 
Oh, I think I hit him good. You know you hit him when you got lag. Especially with AI. Because it's the AI going, what did you just do? Problem is, even though I killed all his parts off, he's still very powerful. Oh yeah, I actually got him at my mercy. Ooh. Is that not victory? What does it take to kill you? Jesus. That, most likely? You know what? This is why the armor in front of the cockpit is basically necessary for this level. I think that was a... That should have killed him. Thank you. I am Supreme God. So yeah, guys, I think that ends the video. Ah, I slaughtered through these guys. As I said, I might just have it in me, you know. Once I get maybe, which is the fan-made remix of this, remake of this, the fan remake. Once I get that, you guys better watch out. I'm, I'm gonna be coming for you. But yeah, I got an S rank, which is glorious. It means I get extra, extra bonus. Bling bling. Because usually, if you get an S rank, you get an extra part. Anyways, guys, I'll see y'all later. Stay tuned for the next Jacob Murders All video. See you later.